Today in pre-cal, we learned about coordinate conversion, in particular, how to convert coordinates from polar to rectangular. So our title today is Coordinate Conversion. And I'm sorry, I'm going to switch pins real quick because I want you to be able to see this. Okay, coordinate conversion. The first type we want to talk about is if we're going from polar to rectangular. Rectangular is the kind you've talked about your whole life. That's what you're used to. The other way, rectangular to polar, is moving towards the ones we learned about yesterday for the first time. And those are the ones that are measured by R, a radius, a directed distance, and theta, a directed angle. To go from polar to rectangular, we're going to find our x value by doing R cosine theta and our y value by doing R sine theta. That should make sense to you because cosine went with x and sine went with y when we were on our unit circle. And so that should be an easy um, gap for you to bridge right there. From rectangular to polar, we're going to take the tangent of our angle theta, and that is going to give us our y over our x. And then r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So I'll plug in my x and my y and get my r out. Okay, those are the pieces that we need to be able to do some examples. Type A for today is the polar to the rectangular. So for example, number one, if I wanted to go from the point 2 pi, which is polar, I would take my equations and do x equals 2, that was my radius, cosine of pi. Now, for this, you probably want to have your unit circle out, and if you've lost that, you'll want to find another representation of that or make one, because if you have that at quick reference, I think that'll really help you go faster on this assignment. For the cosine of pi, I'm going to go to pi, which is halfway around the circle, and I'm going to look at my cosine value, the x value, and in this case, the cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2, and that's my x-coordinate. To find my y-coordinate, I'm going to do 2 sine pi, and that is 2, in the place of sine of pi, the sine of pi is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and so my point is negative 2, 0, and I'm done with that first problem. For example 2, same kind of thing, if our r is square root of 3 and our theta is pi over 6, we're going to do x equals square root of 3 cosine pi over 6 square root of 3 stays. The cosine at pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. And if I multiply those, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3 over 2. If I'm trying to get the y coordinate, I do square root of 3 sine pi over 6. And the sine of pi over 6 is, of course, 1 half. So when I multiply straight across, I get the square root of 3 times 1, which is the square root of 3 over 2. And my answer is 3 halves square root of 3 over 2. And I could plot both of those points. Let's move on to part B, which is to go from rectangular to polar coordinates. And look at some examples of that type. Example number three is if I want to go from the point negative 1, 1 to what that would be in polar coordinates, I'm going to start by doing the tangent of theta, which is equal to 1 over negative 1, because that's y over x. If I notice here that I'm doing negative 1, 1, which would be in my second quadrant, and I think about my unit circle, where on my unit circle would my tangent be equal to negative 1? That would be where theta is 3 pi over 4, and that's my answer. Now, sometimes you may have a decimal on this. As long as your calculator is in radians, you just do second tangent and then put that, that decimal in, and that will give you the value. If it's a value that's right on the unit circle, I want you to keep it in terms of pi if possible. The next thing we want to do is find our r value. So r squared is negative 1 squared plus 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So r equals the square root of 2. I take the square root of r and the square root of 2 to get my r by itself. And so my coordinate is square root of 2, comma, 3 pi over 4. We have one last example to look at, example number 4. 0, 2 is my rectangular point. If I want to find that same point on my polar graph, I would do the tangent of theta equals 2 over 0. Anything over 0, as you know or should know, is undefined. 
And the place where the tangent is undefined in the top half of the unit circle is at pi over 2. Again, we know it's the top half because both of these things are positive. And if they were both negative or one was negative, we might consider the bottom, just depending on the sign. To get our r, r squared equals 0 squared plus 2 squared. We know 2 squared to be 4. If we take the square root of that, we're going to get 2. And our final answer is 2 comma pi over 2. Your homework for this one is A13, it's page 783, and it's numbers 10 through 26 even. Good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.